In this video, I convert up some Space Marine heroes. Hello Bits Brew, that's Craig from bitsbox.co.uk here. So yeah, in this video I'm going to be converting up some heroes from the Shadow Spear box set, and this time I'm going to be looking at some Space Marine heroes. So um, they're not going to be specific to any chapter or anything, but I'm going to convert them up using some bits from older sets. And that, much like we have done with some of the Chaos Space Marine stuff. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys like the results and it gives you some ideas for your own conversions. So before we begin, if you are new to this channel, then welcome. And if you like all things hobby related and role playing related, then certainly hit that subscribe button. We play out roughly about two videos a week. And yeah, we sort of cover all sort of painting tutorials, conversion videos like this and more. So also before we begin, just a big shout out to all our patrons and a massive thank you. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. Uh, if you want to know what our Patreon is all about, then there is a link down below. We offer free shipment on our website. We have bits bags that we send to people. So all the pledge levels are there if you follow the link. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Oh god, I need a Okay then, so we're going to change up these Space Moon Heroes from the Shadow Spear box set. So I've got the Lieutenant or Lieutenant, however you wish to pronounce it. Here and the captain, and I've built them up, as you can see, just legs, torso, backpacks. So, we'll start with the lieutenant. So, because they're in Phobos armour, there's not a lot of miniatures that have this type of armour. There is the Space Marine Reavers though, and I'm using some bits from them. So I have some from the actual Snap Fit ones. And I, I really like this knife sort of being held like a dagger there, and it's in the other hand to what he normally has. So that helps make him look different to the original. So these conversions are not going to be like massive changes, but enough to give you sort of new looking miniatures, make them more unique from the ones in the box, which is the purpose of these videos. Much like the Chaos videos, it's just a case of like. You know, you might end up swapping your half with a buddy and end up with two of the same. Say you're a Space Moon player and your friend's a Chaos player. You both buy a box each and you swap. And a lot of people do that. So you end up with two lots of the same miniatures. And these videos are all about just trying to make them unique. Or you might decide to buy a box set twice and have loads of miniatures. So I'm just, just filing down a little bit on the arm, there's a bit on the other side. Now of course these aren't snap fit but they are sort of single pose miniatures so you do have little bits and pieces here and there that do need filing off. But arm's going to fit on there quite nicely. Being from a Reavers you have a similar type of shoulder pads and arms and such so I mean there's nothing to say that you cannot use other Primaris Marine bits or regular Marine bits but the, um, the Reavers suit the Phobos armour. And with the Phobos armour, you have this sort of smaller shoulder pad on the right arm. Now, we're not going to use this pistol. So I am actually just going to chop that off. And I'm going to take a bolt gun. Just a regular bolt gun, but it's going to be used to represent his type of bolt gun. Uh, it's from the Stand Guard Veterans. So I've got this one with a strap, which I really like. So having a scope on just makes it look a bit more unique to a regular bolt gun. So yeah, I know technically it's not the right type of bolt gun that he would carry, but it's going to look nice nonetheless. And that pretty much fits on the arm pretty good. I'll get that glued on like so. Oh, I'll try and get it glued on like so. So I'll give that a bit of time to dry. So, that's pretty much dried now. Also got a head now, I took a head from the Reavers as well. It's like one of the bare heads with like a skull mask thing. I just really like the look of them so but um, 
unlike the arms, you could literally have any type of head that you so wish. Any Space Marine head, Chaos Space Marine head, or if you so wish. Um, but anything like that sort of size will fit on perfectly. It really is, um, there's so many options. I did have one of these Blood Angel heads originally, which I was going to give him. But I like the Reaver head. Sort of a bear head, so like the mask face that you get from a lot of Space Marine sets, they work really well with this guy as well, if you want to keep that sort of aesthetic going. But that's literally um, just a wealth of options. So while his arms still dry, and I'm gonna put this up, head on and have it angled down slightly. Now it's not the greatest of arms that I've used here. Now, I essentially have two spare Reaver arms, and the other one I want to use on our next miniature. So I'm sort of left with this one for this guy, but I'm gonna have it sort of relaxed down a little bit like that. And yeah, hopefully it'll stay in place. Yeah. So essentially that's what he looks like. So a very simple, straightforward conversion. But I really like him. I might angle his head down just a little bit more. Yeah, I like him. I really like this knife arm that you get with the Reavers. I like that a lot. So that's him. So the captain, here he is. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this servo skull. Now, you might want to keep it, but I don't, so I'm just going to chop it. This is just to make him look even more different to the original one. So we get rid of that. And that's a big difference already. And I'm just firing his knee down to be a bit, a bit more sort of curved because I just left a little flat area where that was cut. So, for this guy, now I really like his a original bolt gun, which I haven't prepared. So just chop that for smooth. But we're not gonna put it on the same arm. So I'm going to do what we did with the um, lieutenant, lieutenant guy, whose arm is sort of slowly slipping off off camera. There we go. And I've got this outstretched arm, so I'm going to give him an outstretched arm. So obviously first we need to get rid of this bit on here. Again, being sort of single pose miniatures, you have all sort of, sorts of pegs and bits and pieces, so get rid of them. Also again, chop off the hand. Always come in from the side sort of, that you're chopping off. That makes it a lot easier. And then we're going to take his, his really nice bolt gun variant and chop off the hand for that. And in theory this should fit on alright. Now I've actually got two I've got two of the um, sort of wrist bits there, so I'm going to chop the wrist off this. Um, so you don't need that. But do this gradually. Don't just come chopping in off the arm. I'm going to just do little bits. Or even just file it down, it'd be easier, but just kind of very carefully take that off. There we go. And that's going to glue on there quite easily. And I'll glue it on him. So I'm going to do all that off camera and, and then I'll be back. So, oh, just adjust the camera slightly. Here's how he looks with that gun arm on. Pretty cool. So for his head, I've actually got one of these hooded heads from the Dark Angel set. The Veterans, I believe. I thought it would be quite cool. He's got his cloak. I want to have a hood as well. And again, much like the previous miniature, any head will just fit in here. So you have such, such a wide option of um, options <laughs> available. And a wide variety of options, that's what I meant to say, you know, that's what I meant to say. But yeah, there's so many, so many Space Marine heads over the various ranges and box set so you can put anything in here they all fit perfectly he says as he struggles to put it in but yeah 
Hey, but Hood of Hood looks pretty cool. Now, if you were creating Dark Angels or something, then it would work really well, but I think it makes them look pretty damn cool. So, I like that. So, what are we going to give him in his left hand then? Well, I'll let his head dry and then we'll have a look. Okay, so I'm not being lazy. I've used his original arm there, but I'm not going to keep it. His head didn't really seem to take very well, but I'll put that back on at the end. <laughs> but it's just easier to use the arm. I don't want to keep a hand. I hate pointing hands, especially um, if he's not even looking in the direction he's pointing. Reminds me of, um, I think it was the Assault on Blackreach Sergeant. Just horrendous. So we're getting rid of that right away. That can go. Yeah, so everything seems to point in 40k and Age of Sigma these days. Very few sets don't seem to have someone pointing somewhere, but it's, I don't know. I don't like it. So, I'm actually going to give him a power sword. Now, I know he, in his rules, um, certainly at the time of filming this, he only has like, a combat knife. But power swords look cool. I thought he could have it outstretched like that. I'll glue his head back on properly. I think with, wait, if you're gluing on one of the hooded heads, I put glue on the sort of neck bit there. I think I'm going to have to put it around the actual hood. So, just in case you decide to go for a hooded head theme yourself. And what I like about this power sword, um, I apologise, I can't tell you what it's from, I just had it just in my spares. It's a Space Marine one. But what I like about it is it's just angled slightly, so... That's pretty cool. Let's um, just get that head back on, that just did not take at all. And then, that goes on. I like them to sort of look where his gun's pointing, and I like that with miniatures. I think it's just add something to him. But yeah, he sort of has that more sort of ranger look about him now, which sort of fits in with the theme of the Vanguard Primera Space Marines. So I think it looks quite cool. I mean, if you really want to, um, you could use this miniature with a hooded head as a basis for like a sergeant for the... Oh god, I forgot what I called. The sniper rifle guys, you know what I mean. And the Eliminators. But, but yeah, he works as a captain. So yeah, I'll let that head dry, and then we'll take a look at both miniatures. Okay, so here they are in all their glory. I quite like using these sort of blue snap fit pieces, because it makes it easier for me to recognise, and for you hopefully, to recognise what piece has been added. But yeah, very simple con conversions, but they really sort of changed the miniatures. And yeah, I quite like them, I think this guy looks pretty cool. I'm not a massive fan of the original miniature, I must admit. But, hey, he's come out alright. To be fair, I'm not a fan of either of them that much, I suppose, but I love this guy's bolt gun now. I think it's awesome. So, oh, got a bit croaky. Oh, apologise. But yeah, um, again, showing off that some of the older Space Moon stuff, still very much compatible. You know, we've got an older head, hands, and that, so they do work. Yes, that hand is slightly smaller than the one he had there before, but it works very well. So yeah, really happy with how these turned out though, just something different to the norm. So yeah, I hope the video gives you guys some ideas if you're thinking about converting yours up yourself. Um, people seem to like these conversion videos, which is really great. I absolutely love making them. So if you have stuck around this long, then thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any suggestions what you'd like me to convert up, then please do leave comments down below. I'm, really happy to take requests i really do want to start taking more requests so please if you do have any ideas as long as they're not something silly like converting up a warhound titan or a warlord titan even just or any titan no titans but um yeah any sort of reasonable request and certainly leave them down below and i'll start compiling the list and cracking on with them so yeah um once again thank you so much for watching i'll see you all very soon if you enjoyed this video then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. 
On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out, and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.